process. So in the previous class, we have discussed it, some questions on the job that there is a principle of negative variations. So we'll continue. So question number 12, right? A human being is heterozygous for autosomal GDA. Heterozygous for autosomal GDA means so that means uh, the capital A small a. This is heterozygous. Heterozygous. And B, B is capital B small b. Is also heterozygous for hemophilic factor, hemophilic gene present on X chromosome, right? That means for X, X, Chetanpur, right? Heterozygous. Heterozygous means one X chromosome containing a hemophilia process. What percentage of sperms will carry ABH gene? ABH gene is the What percentage they carry ABH gene? Right? You know that. Uh, so, options for the actually, this is uh, uh, wrong options as given. So, other than your bonus point to put it around the training survey, CT, actually, options change. What am I at? Here, for example, these are uh, autosomes, right? These are autosomes, chromosomal genes. So, these are two characters. Suppose uh, capital A, small a, capital B, small b. Right. So, these are autosomal characters along with the X, H. That means uh, hemizygous or just taken as a case. A, B, H means here. So, how many possible uh, genotypes uh, we are obtaining? Means here. So, though it is uh, in heterozygous conditions, when a gamete containing a specific uh, allele for a character, for a character here, suppose I will take uh, male individuals. So, I will ask the one human male individuals, X, X, Y. So, what happens here? Here, so these are heterozygous conditions. So, two alleles present in the gamete. So this is also here heterozygous condition. That's why. So these are also in a gamut. Hetero here X H Y X H Y condition, right? That we see here. So what happens here? Suppose suppose the gamut containing gamut containing A B H. That means X H. What has given A B X, X, that means simply called H, Chandra right? Otherwise, it is A, B, Y, right? The potential occurs in the H. Otherwise, it is a small A, capital B, it is a H, that means X, H, H. So, A, B, Y. One more is a small A, small B, H. This is the possible this. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, what happens here? Capital A, small b, h, capital A, small b, so y. Right? So capital A, capital small a, small b, y. Right? This is for this. Eight possibilities that we obtain, right? The probabilities, probabilities that we obtain. So that here ABH out of eight probabilities only one. That means one by eight of the sperm, sperm they carry ABH gene. One by eight means it is generally twelve point five percent. Twelve point five percent of the sperms they carry carry ABH genotype. ABH genotype. That's why the option will be a wrong So there is 1.8 other thing that is not the right. 1.8%. So 50%, 0 percent put in So the wrong other thing. 1.8 of the sperm they carry ABH genotype. 1 by 8 of the sperm or 12.5%. 12 12.5%. 12 That's why optionally wrong put in here. Right. So that is the top part five. Next question. From the following predictive chart of a family, one can make an analysis that today the predictive chart will be there. So these are parents, they are unaffected parents. So here their children, the son, here also son.
सन अफेक्टेड सन ये अनअफेक्टेड सन मैरिस में नॉर्मल मेटिंग है अक्सर सुत अफेक्टेड फीमेल दैट देर नेक्स्ट जेनरेशन ऑफ स्प्रिंग दे गेट अफेक्टेड डॉटर नॉर्मल डॉटर नॉर्मल सन सो व्हाट हैपेंस हियर यू कैन नो दैट सो दो द पेरेंट्स दे आर अनअफेक्टेड अनअफेक्टेड but the, the generation is here in this generation is the character trait will be appears then what happens the parents they are unaffected but they are carriers but they are carriers remember there is no affection charge here but they are carrying the gene for a specific trait that will be expressed in the next generation that means for again you can see that here so there is a so affected if the unaffected individual that is affected female then the generation will be continuous that means what here this is autosomal autosomal recessive autosomal recessive trait why because because unaffected parents may have affected children that means parents are the carriers carriers so recessive allele be express remember if it is dominant where all the generation they are one of the few they are affected here also affected 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 right but there is no appearance of the specific trait gene character right that's why because it is a recessive allele recessive allele it is present in the presence of dominant characters are able to express but it may express in some other generation and this generation is expressed Right, that's why right. it is not also a recessive trait. Option A is the right answer. Next, 2017. Example for autosomal hyperaniploidy. What do you mean by autosomal hyperaniploidy? Autosomal means what? Somatic chromosomes. Hyper means what? Somatic chromosomes will be many. That means uh, aniploidy, whether loss or gain of chromosome. Here, Down syndrome. Of course, Down syndrome. Down syndrome. It is an autosomal hyper. Because uh, there is an addition of extra autosome or extra chromosome in the somatic cells. That means what happens? Normally, it is 42 autosome plus addition of one chromosome in the 21st region. That means it is called 21st trisomy. Trisomy. Then what happens? The number of autosomes is 45 autosomes along with that the sex chromosomes X X X Y. Right. That's why autosomal hyper just like the gain and the B addition and the gaining of chromosome is unimportant condition loss or gain addition or deletion. That's why Down syndrome. Klein Carter syndrome is allosomal allosomal hyperaniploid. Turner syndrome it is allosomal hyperaniploid. Hemophilia is an excellent inheritance, right? That's why option A is the right answer. Next, in a dihybrid cross, when F1 plant, when in a dihybrid cross, what is the name? So law of segregation, so law of independent assortment. So in a case of two genes, when F1 plant, F1 plant, what is the F1 plant? Capital R, small r, capital Y, small i. This is F1 generation. Or self hybridizing, self hybridizing. This is self hybridizing. The ratio of segregation of yellow and green. What do I mean by that? Yellow and green ratio is what I mean. Yellow and green, right? Yellow and green ratio, what I mean, right? So here, yellow and green, round yellow, round green, green. So here, what is the ratio of dihybrid cross? Nine is zero dihybrid ratio. Nine is two, three is two, three is two, one, right? So here. Nine plants. These are round, round yellow, round yellow, round green, green, wrinkled yellow, and wrinkled green, wrinkled yellow, and wrinkled green. So round yellow, round green, round yellow, round green. Wrinkled yellow, wrinkled green. You know, round yellow, round yellow, yellow here, yellow here. So what happens here in the ratio? 
the segregation so yellow color and green color ante kelala yellow as well as the green so yellow and the green they are dominant or recessive predation first we have to see so here red color yellow only one that's why green is it is one right one one color so what happens here if the characters if the characters that means more than two characters more than two pairs they are brought together in a fun generation they are uh, assort independently one pair of uh, alleles or one pair of a uh, characters which are separate which are assort independently with that of one another during the time of gamete formation at the time of gamete formation so here round yellow nine nine so wrinkled yellow here so this is 10 what happens here so four so three and this is one so three is to one right three is to one so yellow as well as the round segregation of yellow and the green or green segregation of yellow and the green so yellow is three three is one three one half so that is a base to one ratio of segregation of yellow and the green in the up to generation in the up to generation is a so remember that is three is to one option b is put there option b is the right answer so this time here is the the six so two there is one here is the twelve that is the twelve that is the three so that the three right so here three is to one is the right answer next <laughs> replacement of which of which one of the following will be put in the HPA hemoglobin A normal gene causes sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia the replacement of so here replacement of ctc2 cac that means t replaced by a what happens ctc in the dna sequence in g the ctc then mrna is g g a g2 g u g this is codes for glutamic acid glutamic acid this is codes for valine codes for valine So replacement of glutamic acid by the valine, the sixth position of beta globin that causes us to evolve. Plus three, that is twelve. Plus two, three plus one, four, four one, nine, two one. so that's why here so b t to a t to a here t to a replaced that causes t the disease that's why option b is the right answer right so so in dihedral cross would have been repeat your question but the dihedral cross f1 the segregation of yellow and green in f2 they can be reached to one in mud here here how many of them yellow are there here yellow Here also yellow. Total number what comes here? There are nine plus three, twelve yellow. So green. This is green. This is green. How many of them green? There are four. Four ones are four threes are. Three is to one. Three is to one is the right answer. Right? So repeat that. That is three is to one again. So next question. The type of sex discrimination in honey bee. Type of situation honey bee. So here honey bee, honey bee. They shows haplodiploid, haplodiploid, haplodiploid type of sex determination. Haplodiploid type of sex determination. That means for female bees, female bees they contain having the thirty two chromosomes. Whereas male bees, they have 16 chromosomes. 16 chromosomes. 
DNA we produces the gametes that is eggs by a process called uh, meiosis. Meiosis. So 16 and 16, two gametes they are produced. Whereas uh, male individuals only they are haploid, haploid in nature. So here these are diploid in nature here. So because they are haploid set of chromosome, where they produce the gametes, produce the gametes by the process that is mitosis. That's why 16 gametes here. So male individuals, they are sorry, female individuals, they are formed with the with the fertilization of the male gamete and female gamete. There are 32 chromosome. This will be developed into female. Being. So here another one more egg is there, that is ovum is there. This ovum, ovum without the fertilization, which will be developed into male B, male B, that is called parthenogenesis. Right? Parthenogenesis. That's why it is a haplodiploidic, haplodiploid, haplodiploid, haplodiploid type of sex combination. Haplodiploid type of sex combination. So that's why I hear, so male B produces the gametes by mitosis process, whereas female B produces gametes by meiosis process. Female produces two eggs, two ova, male B is the, and a single male gamete. So fertilization occurs, if the fertilization occurs, then it will be developed into female B. I get the process to be continuous. But they have, so here, so they are no father. No son, but they have a grandson here. They have a grandson here. So, because of this haplodiploid type of sex combination in the case of honeybee, very, very interesting. So, topic is concept haplodiploid type of sex combination with respect to honeybees. Honeybees, right? So, that's it. the right answer is A, haplodiploid. Next, ABO type of type in male. male is an example for the HO type is an in the male is an example for HO type of that group, right? GPO type of that group. That group. So HO type of that group because they containing the two dominant alleles, one recessive allele. So that's why both the allele dominant alleles are expressed side by side. That's why it's an example for co-dominance. Co-dominance, example for co-dominance. So, because of uh, a uh, gene that containing more than gene containing more than two alleles, two alleles, then it is called multiple multiple allelism or multiple alleles. This one, we will be looking at the example for multiple alleles. That's why co-dominance and multiple ways, 3 and 4 only, option C and 3 and 4 only is the right answer. Eotropy, because there is other law, because the signals in that regulates or express many traits, incomplete dominance, where both the parent values are not expressed, there is an intermediate character appears because of so incomplete dominance. Right? The best example for incomplete dominance here. So where, uh, so dog flower, right? The four o'clock plant, giraffe, jalapas, snap, dragon. So pleiotropy example I have over here, female hidden urea, stars in the case of P, P6, right? So that's why code dominance and multiple is the right answer. Next. Choose the possible genotypes responsible for lightest skin color in human body. Light the skin color of the man is controlled by G, A, B, and C. If they are uh, dominant, Dominant, then it is the darkest, darkest skin color. If they are expressed in the recessive, expressed in the recessive alleles, so this is the lightest skin color, lightest skin color, right? That's why smallest, smallest, sorry, smallest, 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 the lightest. Capital A, small A, capital A, small A, capital B, small B, capital C, small C, these are intermediate, dark. Right, color, skin color. That's why option C is the right answer. Next, 
both male and female have both male and female they have normal vision normal vision though their father were color blind though their father were color blind and mother did not have any gene for color blindness the probability of their daughter becoming color blind color blind and they get daughter see how it is color blind so here the telomeres it makes confused to you buddy both male and female they have normal vision though their fathers were fathers father were who color blind and the mother did not have any gene only mother sorry she made individual fathers female individual fathers color blind i think right mothers mothers ali avadana kondra sindhuva probability of their children is crossing our number here x x x y here x x x x no gene right x x here x x and x y so 0% ali confuse madu padidare 0% the probability of their daughter becoming color blind is 0% daughter is 0% next sikasan anemia is due to nodi sikasan anemia mood sathi kosha padide very important not to be yav one kuda one yav gene anta heli so specifically here ctc2 cac nodi ctc cac here this is the sequence where the mrna sikasan mrna is normal hemoglobin producing mrna is gag2 gug So this is codes for glutamic acid. This is codes for aline. You know that there are codes. There are sixty-four codons are there. Out of sixty-four codons, three codons they are stop codons, alternator codons, U A A, U A G, U G A, and one is initiator codon A U G. So here G A G G A series and G U series. So glutamic acid and aline, right? That's why C D C two C A C. Next. Identify the odd one among the following disorder. Odd one. Now we will be asked about what are the odd ones. So sickle cell anemia is a gene disorder. Thalassemia is also a gene disorder or gene disorder. Hemophilia, pinnated anemia is also a form of gene disorder. That's why we call it. All these are autosomal gene disorder. But the hemophilia is a X-linked inheritance. Linked inheritance. Hemophilia is a X-linked inheritance or sex-linked inheritance, right? That's why hemophilia is the odd one. We have to take out hemophilia from that. Sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, pinnated these are autosomal disorder, sexual disorder, gene disorder. Whereas hemophilia is a X-linked autosomal gene disorder. Next, from the chromosomal complements given below, identify one of one which shows female heterogeneity. Female heterogeneity, how do? Female heterogeneity is for female individual produces two different types of gametes, whereas male produces they are same type of gametes, homogeneity in nature. So that's why here X X sorry X X X Y type. This is what this is an example for male heterogeneity. This is male heterogeneity. Z Z Z W type. This is an example for female heterogeneity in case of birds. Female heterogeneity. Heterogeneity. Xx X not. This is also an example for male heterogeneity. Male heterogeneity. Case of grasshopper. So Xx Xx Y. What is this? This chromosomal complement. It is the chromosomal disorder. The it is a trisomy condition where allosomal or hexosomal is added in case of Klein-Hunter syndrome. Klein-Hunter. Hunter syndrome, Klein Hunter syndrome. You know, right? That's why. So, that 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 that. Next, Morgan's experiment. Take the dress of Ella. Morgan's experiment. Take the dress of Ella. Yellow body, yellow body, white eye. Ready? Yellow body, white eye, white eye. female female was crossed with the brown body brown bodied with the red eye red eye 
मेल मेल यपन प्रोजनी या इंटरकोर्स दे यू गेट यपन प्रोजनी वेर ऑल द मेल्स दे आर येलो बॉडी इन यपन टेबल बड़ा बस यार ऑल द मेल इज बस दे आर येलो येलो बॉडी वाइट आई वाइट आई एंड ऑल द फीमेल फीमेल्स दे आर ब्राउन बॉडी विथ रेड आई अगेन देयर इज अ इंटरकोर्स दैट इज क्रॉसड व्हाट आर वाज हियर व्हाट वाज द परसेंटेज ऑफ रिकॉम्बिनेंट्स अपन कह रहे बिकॉज़ दीस जीन्स दीस जीन्स फॉर फॉर बॉडी कलर बॉडी कलर एंड आई कलर द जीन्स फॉर बॉडी कलर एंड आई कलर दे आर वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर This is an example for complete linkage. Complete linkage. That is what if the two genes they are very close to each other, the same homologous homologous chromosome, then the percentage of recombination or recombination frequency is very less. Right? So where? So the tight linkage. Tight linkage. It will show lesser recombination frequency. Loose linkage shows higher recombination frequency. With respect to body color, body color, they are tight linkages, very close to each other. Then they will show very less recombination frequency compared to eye color and the the, the nature of wings, miniature wings, normal wings. That's why here recombination frequency is one point three percent. One point three percent. So ninety eight point seven percent. Ninety-eight point seven percent they are parental type, right? Parental type. One point three percent they are recombinants with respect to body color, eye color. Morgan sex color. Remember, Thomas sex Morgan. So Morgan sex color no matter. Not so color is there. So only sixty-two point eight to into is a parental type with respect to eye color, eye color and nature of wing, nature of wings, wings. Thirty seven point two, thirty seven point two. This much of recombination frequency because uh, the eye color and uh, the wings, nature of wings, genes they are far away from each other. They show uh, loose linkages. That's why recombination frequency is uh, higher, right? So less than the linkages, higher the recombination. Higher the linkages, less than the recombination frequency. One point three is the right answer. Next. The following symbols used in human pedigree analysis identify the symbols that denote the consanguineous marriage. Sorry, the repeat I have asked you. How do we consanguineous marriage? Now, remember the pedigree analysis. So this is the consanguineous marriage symbol, right? So what is this? This is normal mating. We did not talk about one. Many people are normal mating. Many people are not consanguineous marriages. Marriage between the relatives. Option B is the right answer. Next. Which of the following character was not studied by Mendel in his pre-plan experiment? I was studying modern character. Pod shape, pod color, I have studied. Seed shape, seed color, I have studied. Stem height, I have also studied. Leaf shape, what do you mean studying modern? Leaf shape, shape of the leaf was not studied by the Mendel. Right? Option C is the right answer. Next. In an organic, what is what here? So, stem height. Color of the seed, color seed shape, pod color pod shape, right? Flower position and the flower color we yes, have studied, not the leaf shape. Next question: In an organism, mutation of a in a single gene exhibit multiple phenotypic expression. Identify the underlying genetic mechanism in above step three. A single gene that can express exhibit multiple phenotypic character is what we call as called as phenotopy. This is called as a, Pleiotropy. All of us single gene that express or exhibit many phenotypic character is pleiotropy. Incomplete dominance, neither dominant character or nor recessive character will be expressed. Intermediate character will be appear. Polygenic inheritance, many genes that produce single character. Multiple mutation, a gene containing many the alleles or more than two alleles. Pleiotropy. That is the answer. Next. A pure breeding pea plant with round yellow, 
A round yellow seeded was crossed with the pea plant having wrinkled green seeds. On selecting of F1, the cross of the cross, 64 progeny is there obtained in F2 generation. Find out the number of F2, number of F2 progenies show non parental character, non parental character. Here, round yellow. So, now round yellow it is a phenotypic character, phenotypic character. Capital R, capital R, capital I, capital I, here small R, small R, small I, small I. You have to get the capital R, small R, capital I, small I. This is the F1 generation, it grows, I guess, the round yellow. On the surface of the F1, what happens here? So, 16 possible genotypes, genotypes, now experiment to order Prakash, so you want to put a 16, checkerboard on the other, so you can go through the checkerboard here. Right now, you are in the male, female, gametes, so the capital R, capital I, capital R, small I, small R, capital I, small R, small I, the same as like this, yeah. Right. So, what is the ratio of both? So, diagonal cross, immunotic ratio, 9 is 2, 3 is 2, 3 is 2, 1. Round yellow, round, round yellow, 9, round yellow. So, round yellow, round green, round green. Wrinkled yellow, wrinkled green. Wrinkled yellow, wrinkled green. Right. 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Good. Parental type, parental type have round yellow, round yellow, wrinkled green. These are parental type. Yes, to parental type are 64. 64 vanilla actually. So 64 pojari is vanilla. And 16 vanilla in combination. 64 vanilla in the 64 many of them are non sorry, parental parental, non parental parental. This is the round yellow parental. Wrinkled green is also parental, right? Wrinkled green is also parental. What is this? Round green and wrinkled yellow. But round green is a non parental. It is a recombinant type. Wrinkled yellow is also non parental. How many of them are? There are six or there are 16. So, six non parental out of 16. Out of 16, buddy. 16 is 6. What about 64? Question mark. So 64 into 6 divided by 16. 4 ones are 4 ones are 4. So here 6, 4 this is 16. 4 fours are 4 16 into 6. What this? One minute. So here 4. So 16, 64 into 6 by 16 here. So here. So 16 ones are 16 fours are 6 into 4, 24. That's why 24 they are not parental. Non parental. So characters that you have time today. I am getting. So round yellow is parental character. Round yellow. Wrinkled green is also parental character. So round green and wrinkled yellow, these are non-parental character. Remember, so the wrinkled green is three day, wrinkled, uh, wrinkled, sorry, round green is three day, wrinkled yellow three day, so there are six one in the way, is 16 day. Out of 16 genotypes, six genotypes, these are non-parental, non-parental. Then out of 64, out of 64, this question was taken as X. Right, so the cross multiplication, we have to get here 16x is equal to 64 into 6. Therefore, x is equal to 64 into 6 divided by 16. 16 on the 64 is of 46, 24. That's why 24 progenies they are non-parental in nature. Right? That's why C is the right answer. Next, a man with blood group A. So the blood group A. Man is a man is a woman having blood group B. So the man with blood group A. Blood group A is the male B is also. Blood group B is the woman to marry either. That is either. Maximum possible genotypes, possible blood groups among their progenies. In a progenies birth there, if they are in heterozygous condition, heterozygous condition is IA, I naught or small i into IB small i. Right. What happens here? Both are heterozygous condition, both are act as a gamete. 
present in the gamete. This is male, right? So here I B small x, different types of x. Then I A I B that means I A I B. I A small x. I B small x. Small x small x. What is this? This is A B blood group. What is this? This is A blood group. What is this? This is B blood group. What is this? This is O blood group. They are the possible genotypes. Possible blood groups in case of children. It is A B A B and O. Remember. So here, what happens if they are in a heterozygous condition? Man with blood group A, man with O will have a blood group B. Maximum, what is maximum generally? क्या के मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन दे रहे हो? For example, if the homozygous condition of a male or female, so I A I B, so I A I B, so maximum A B is there, right? So I mean, so A B only is there, right? It's a homozygous condition. But the question mark will not be there. Maximum possible the blood groups among their progeny, that is option C is the answer. So these are all the questions. It's the the principles of the inheritance. Right. No more questions. You have to read the provided materials. So the next class we will discuss with another chapter. Right. Thank you.